Next video on tangent chord angles. So what we're looking at here is a diagram of a circle with a tangent line EC and a chord segment AF that come together at this point of tangency point F. When that occurs we have some very interesting properties that are going on between this angle and the arc that it opens up to which is right there all right and we're gonna get into that stuff right now and the basic the basic idea is that this angle is half as big as the arc that it opens up to all right so if the green angle is 80 degrees that means this is 160 80 times 2 is 160 same thing over here on the other side Right, if we take it over here on the other side, that angle, first of all, it is supplementary to the green angle that we just noted there. That's 80 degrees, the pink one is 100, they are supplements. All right, but furthermore, the arc that it opens up to, arc ADF, is, it would be 200 because the rule is very simple. The arc is twice as big as the angle that opens up to it. If the angle's 100, the arc is 200. If the angle's 80, the arc is 160. All right, so think about that for a second. We've got this arc is 160. This arc is 200. Together, they add up to a whole circle. So a lot of really cool things happening here. Let's do a couple examples. Number one, in example one, we've got an angle that's missing. Remember, the angle is half as big as the arc. So the angle, in this case, is 140 over 2, or 70 degrees. Number two. The angle is half as big as the arc. So this arc right here would simply be not, uh, would be 47 times 2 since the angle is the arc over 2. So the arc is 94 degrees. But the question is not asking for that. It's asking for this arc over here this arc is the arc in question to find that arc all we do is remember that the whole circle is 360 take away 94 all right so that is going to be what uh, 266 I think something like that that makes sense so that would be the arc in yellow 266 degrees Number three. All right, number three, we have a task that we need to find the value of x. Remember the angle equals the arc, oops, equals the arc over two. The angle is seven x minus one. The arc is one ten over two. Seven x minus one. Oh, it's getting a little sloppy there. Sorry. Seven x minus one is equal to 110 over 2 is 55. 7x equals 56. x is 8. x is 8. If we plug that back in here, we get 7 times 8 minus 1 is 55 degrees. And remember, this angle is half as big as the arc it opens up to, and that makes sense. Number 4. All right, so here we need to find the value of x as well. Uh, a couple different ways to do this. Maybe I'll show you both ways. Let's focus on the arcs first. I mean, what we're doing now is we're looking for this arc measure. That arc measure is going to be the entire circle minus this guy. Right? Because the whole circle is 360. And the arc that they give you, well, the expression that they give you, rather, is over here that's in blue 
All right, that's 86x plus 6. So the green arc is everything except that. So it's 360 minus that thing. Notice I put it in parentheses as well. So here we go. We're going to say that the angle is equal to the arc over 2. The angle is 14x plus 6. The arc is the green one now, 360 minus quantity 86x plus 6. All right. Uh, let's multiply both sides by 2. We have to distribute here. So we get 28x plus 12. Numerator does not change. Sorry about that. Numerator does not change. So we get, we have to do a little bit of a, a distributive property. 360 minus 86x minus 6. Oh boy, a couple steps here. Let's uh, combine like terms on the right. We'll combine those constants. 354 minus 86x. Uh, let's move the 86 over to the left by doing its inverse. So that's 114 x plus 12 equals 354. Subtract 12, 114 x equals uh, let's see, 342, and that hopefully is 3. Let's see, what's 114 times 3? It's 12, 4, and 342, yeah. So that's one way of doing that problem if you focus just on the arcs. Uh, if you want to go back and do the problem again, maybe I'll do that for you. Focusing this time on the angles, you can do that. So let's think about what this angle is. Oops, this angle right in here would be, well, if, if the picture ever gets confusing, take it out and separate it from its bigger picture, 14x plus 6. Well, this one in here in green would be 180 minus. 14x plus 6. All right, those are supplements of each other. They're a linear pair. All right, so now we're really going to just focus on uh, this whole side over here. So this whole side of the problem now is going to be the angle is equal to the arc over 2. Well, this time the angle is 180 minus 14x plus 6. So we're actually talking about this angle now. Equals the arc, 86x plus 6 over 2. Distribute this on the left first. 180 minus 14x minus 6 is equal to 86x plus 6 over 2. Simplify 174 minus 14x, 86x plus 6 over 2. So right here, since both of these numerators are divisible by 2, you can simplify that, but sometimes they're not going to be. So I think the easiest way to get rid of that 2 in the denominator is multiply both sides by it. When you multiply both sides by that 2, they cancel. Over here, we have to put it in parentheses. And that's, uh, let's see, 348 minus 28x equals 86x plus 6. I'll add 28x to both sides. That's 114x plus 6 equals 348. Subtract 6, you get 342. And x is still 3. Either way you want to do that one. So there you go, some tangent chord angles.